Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back in another video. All right, y'all, I'm back on track with my 30 meals. 30 meals. Might be 30 meals. Now, it would be 30 meals if I did one meal a day this month. It'd be 31 meals. Uh, but I'm doing my meal in 30 minutes or less. Yes. I'm going to show y'all something using store-bought items and stuff I keep in my home all the time. I cook, like I say, 20, maybe 25 days out of the month. But some days I get home, I don't want to cook. I'm very tired. I'm dealing with my uh, personal work and then my social media work and other things. Man, my mom needs something, a little help in here and there. My brother needs some help here and there. Sometimes I don't have the time to sit down and do a full meal. So this is one of my go-to meals, y'all, right here. If you watch one of my meet and meet and greets, my mind going all over the place, y'all. It's a Sunday afternoon. This is be my Sunday meal right here. Uh, if you saw one of my uh, recent uh, shopping trip, I showed you this right here. This is the only marinara I buy here, y'all. Rayo, that's it. I don't buy any marinara in the store. This thing has been out for years. It's the only marinara. It is the best. It's a little bit more expensive. I pay like a little bit over seven for this, but you can get it sometimes for four dollars, and they have it on sale for four or five bucks a jar. I get the big jar. They have different sizes. The smaller jar is like three dollars and something. And another thing I use, Trader Joe's. I love that store. You might not have a Trader Joe's in your area, but Trader Joe's. Have these Italian meatballs already pre-cooked. These things are amazing. It's just like homemade meatballs. You'll see when I cut them and, and pull them out the pack. They're amazing. And then a the little spaghetti and Parmesan cheese. This whole meal costs you about 10 bucks. And I promise you, you can feed 10 people. So feed, feed 10 people for uh, 10 bucks. Shoot, you don't get no more better than that. It's called it 10 for 10. So anyway, I got my pot heating up on the stove for the spaghetti. And right now I'm going to work on the sauce here, which is so hard. I don't know if I can handle this, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle all this. So anyway, let's get started here. I got my pot here. I'm going to open up my sauce. Ah. All this thing is open the marinara sauce up. Pour that in there, and you know how my mama used to do it. Put the water in here, put the top back on there. If y'all never did this, y'all don't know the struggle. Put that in there, pour the rest of that in there. It ain't gonna hurt the sauce. And my mama used to say these, y'all. I don't say these jars, but a lot of people do, which you can, but I don't. Okay, I got the sauce in there. A wooden spoon here. Turn this on just a little. And you don't turn it on much. Stir it around in there. Alright, get my meatballs here. Let me put them out on the bowl so y'all can see the size of them. Put them out here. Look at these. Look at these, y'all. Look at that. Pull that in there. My meatball, my meat, uh, spaghetti meatballs is almost ready, y'all. Look at that. That took how many minutes? That took less than two minutes, y'all. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I like to let this simmer. I like to simmer in like 10 minutes, y'all. Let the meatballs get fully, fully uh, hot. Because they already cooked. Let them get really, really hot. Let the sauce get hot. And while they're simmering, I'll get my, uh, I would get my, uh, spaghetti cook and I'll come back y'all and this meal will be pretty much ready to eat y'all so anyway see how easy this is this is a go-to like I say you just I just keep things like this one day I'm gonna do a, a tour of my pantry and fridge and show you the little fast things that I keep in my refrigerator and pantry so maybe give you a little thing little tips and things that y'all can use as well so anyway I'll be right back y'all Okay, y'all, we are back here. Okay, I guess we're still back. <laughs> yeah, okay, I got my uh, spaghetti back here. I'm about to cut it off. I'm about to drain it here. Drain it off here in the sink. Let me show y'all something. I worked so hard on my y'all. Look at this. Can y'all see this? 
Look at that. Let me give you a close up, y'all. Look at these meatballs. And that sauce. Worked so hard on this, y'all. Worked so hard on it. Yeah, y'all know I'm kidding. Yeah, I let them simmer in this sauce by 15, 20 minutes. And that is ready, y'all. That's how easy that is. Nobody can tell you that's not homemade. So I'm going to step off, y'all. I'm going to... Matter of fact, let me do that now while y'all are. Uh, when I got you here. I'm going to drain my uh, spaghetti here. Let me drain my spaghetti right here. Drain the water off of here. Then I'm going to plate up a uh, pot pan of pasta here. Pull all oil in my pasta after I cook it. Like I tell y'all, don't oil the pasta until after it's done. Don't oil it with the, but that does nothing to the, to the pasta, y'all. Mix a little oil in here. Okay. Let me move y'all over here. Move y'all over here so I can, uh, Get ready and plate up me some spaghetti here. Okay. Show you how, how hard this meal was, y'all. This meal was so difficult. Okay. Spaghetti on there. A little bit more. That's it. And I'll give me a little these balls and uh I think I'll put three on here. Normally I'd go for two, but for the thumbnail, we'll definitely do three. Wish I had a little parsley to go on there, but hey, this is quick, y'all. I ain't got time to be chopping no pars parsley. Put a little Parmesan cheese on there. And voila. You got supper there, y'all. Okay. I'm gonna let this cool just slightly. Then I'm gonna go in there and we're gonna tamper this and see how it is. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Let's try this out, y'all. These meatballs are so tender. See how tender they are? That's why I love these. They look like real meatballs. They're not tough. Look at that. They're tender and juicy. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, no. We are close up here. Yeah. Mm. See that? So juicy. What's the spaghetti? Nothing right home about spaghetti. But the marinara sauce, Rayo's marinara. Look at this bite. Look at this bite right there. One second here, y'all. It's going to be a hot, big hot bite here. Let me let that sit here just a second here. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious. Absolutely delicious, y'all. I'm telling you. If you don't want to make homemade meatball, if you've got a Trader Joe's in your city, Go check it out. They are Italian meatball. They are the best frozen meatball product I would taste in my life. Thank you for me. Yep. So, anyway, just wanted to show you a quick meal. And all I need is some garlic bread, which I'm going to make some. This is so, so good. Let me get another bite. Another bite of this. Hold on, y'all. Stuff is so good. Mm. And that rail, man, that's all. I can't say enough about it. Also, it's so flavorful. Mm. Anyway, let me close the video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. 
Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag this year, 2021, help somebody, Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Happy cooking, y'all, 30 minutes or less. I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.